Hi, Lisa Dodson here. Um, I am a big believer in tennis training tools. I believe that they are the future of tennis practice. None of us can get on the court often enough to really be the player that we want to be. So there are a couple of key tennis tools that can help you really concentrate on the important aspects of what you're trying to improve and the important aspects of the game. In my mind, there is one central issue, and that is point of contact. Where are we striking the ball? Are we keeping our head there long enough that it doesn't destroy our stroke and take our vision away from the point of contact? And technique. Technique is, I'm going to lump that together with how you're hitting a forehand, where your grips are, what your footwork is, what your footwork patterns are, and really the fact of the matter is it doesn't matter how good your movement is or your technique is if your point of contact is off, if your vision is off. And so we need to strengthen that and that's where we're all really weak. Since this is a flyaway game, the ball leaves us, we all like to look up and see where our ball is going instead of doing a Federer, right? Keeping our eyes here to point of contact. So you really can't do anything well unless you practice it over and over. Repetition is the mother of invention, right? So this eye coach is absolutely the perfect tool to get that done. Now, I am learning to have to hit a left-handed forehand because I need to learn to hit a two-handed backhand. I'm having a second shoulder surgery uh, in two years, and I'm figuring, you know what, I need to change something, so I need to learn to hit a two-handed backhand. I'm using my eye coach. I just started a little bit today. I'm going to be using it all winter, and I'm going to see how that goes. I already have seen a huge amount of progress just by focusing on keeping my vision in one place. I'm not even thinking that much about my technique, how what I'm doing, how I'm taking my racket back. I'm thinking a little bit about it, but I'm thinking mostly just about keeping my eyes right here, right, the whole time. Whoop, that was a C, an F. Okay, that was a C. That was more like an A. I know when I look up, it's just sometimes I just can't help it. I have no idea why I do, and neither do you. So this is going to help me train over and over, keeping my eyes and my head in the same place. And it's really great because I don't have to, I don't have to look and see where my ball went. All I have to do is stay on task, stay on task, just keep looking here. So that's the point of contact aspect of tennis. Now there's the technique aspect. And so the other tool I'm going to use for this forehand and backhand is my own tool, which is called Serve Master. And I'm using the one ball here. You can use the two ball for, uh, for this as well. But I like the one because it gets around really quickly. So when I go through my motion, remember, I really haven't done this before. I can practice every part of my, my technique for getting to this point of contact with my serve master. Now you notice that looked pretty awful because I've got a lot of body parts to coordinate to make this all happen. Well, that was a little bit better, but you can see I've got a long way to go and I am not even beginning to look down. All I'm doing is trying to concentrate on what I'm doing and that's the problem when we're trying to learn. We're thinking so much about what we're doing and not where the ball is. So it's time to zone it back in everybody and get down to what's really important. And where, what's important is, where is the ball in relationship to us, and how long am I looking at it? I don't want to fail anymore in this last three feet and miss hit and miss hit and miss hit. I want to be successful with a clean hit every single time. So I'm using my eye coach, and I'm going to just practice on keeping my head right here. And if I do that, my technique will get better, I'll be more successful, and I'll be a much happier player. So. Check into iCoach.